Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When Jesus saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. By now it was already late, and his disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already very late. Dismiss them, so that they can go to the surrounding farms and villages and buy themselves something to eat. He said to them in reply, Give them some food yourselves. They said to him, Are we to buy 200 days worth of food, wages worth of food? and give it to them to eat? He asked them, how many loaves do you have? Go and see. When they, when, the, when they had found out, they said, five loaves and two fish. So he gave orders to have them sit down in groups on the green grass. People took their places in rows by hundreds and by fifties. Then taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves, and gave them to his disciples to set before the people. He also divided the two fish among them all. They ate and were satisfied. They picked up the twelve wicker baskets full of fragments and what was left of the fish. Those who ate of the loaves were five thousand men. The Gospel of the Lord. Last week, we heard from Matthew about Jesus, Mary, and Joseph having to flee to Egypt because of Herod. And then we heard about them coming out of Egypt. There are many clues in Matthew, that's just one of them, that he saw Jesus as the new Moses. There's lots of them all over Matthew. Well, Mark has a similar thing happening. There's a few clues right here. When the people are out there and they're hungry, the disciples say, this is a deserted place. It's a reflection, yeah, Moses was with the people in, a, in the desert for years. And they came to him and said they were hungry. So it's a little clue that Mark is also seeing Jesus as the new Moses. But there's something I heard yesterday from another priest that I never thought about before. When, when they say, we, we, don't, we couldn't feed all these people. You'd have to have 200 days worth of wages to be able to feed them all. Jesus says to them <clears throat> something here that's not in the other accounts of this story. You feed them. I never knew this before. So he says, well, go look at what you got. There's the five loaves of two fish. Now, he had told them that when we go out, you're not supposed to take anything with you. No walking stick, no sack, no food. They were going to receive from the abundance of God. They were going to trust God. So how come they have this food? So I never thought about that before. He was really pointing out that they were hoarding some stuff. I never thought of that before. And then he tells them, you know, they give it away. He blesses it. And so you see, he's the new Moses, and then the way that it's said here. He took it, he blessed it, he broke it, he gave it out. And those are all the four actions of the Eucharist. So Mark is looking back and saying, here, Jesus is the new Moses. And he's looking forward to the new Passover, to the Eucharist. It's amazing. It's amazing what's in these stories, how rich they are. So maybe the thing for us to think about today is maybe something we haven't thought about before. I'm going to be thinking about it too. Where do we hoard? Or maybe we don't. Maybe you, you're very generous now and give lots of things away. And, but it's not just about the things. It's things and it's also my heart, my time, my attention. Yeah, the main the thing the Lord is saying here is 
give it all away. Not necessarily literally, but have that spirit of generosity. Feed others, to be there for others. Give them life by your life. Where, where might we be hoarding?